Yo, what up guys? Little Casino coming at you with another episode of Global Geek Art in Depth. Join with me today. Uh, wait a minute. You're not Eric. You look way better. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, no. Eric, Eric is simply beautiful. Eric is beautiful. He's a beautiful soul and I love his artwork. He is. He's, he's a great guy. So today I'm joined yeah. by Austin from self induced studios make sure to check him out he is an awesome dude his art is amazing i think we're gonna get to see something at the end but i haven't seen it yet because he just uploaded it yeah so i had to just for the, i had to i had to upload it just for the video just, just so the, you know <laughs> all right so you've you've watched the videos before you know how this is gonna go we're gonna scroll up we're gonna look at some art we're gonna give a little bit of feedback on what we think of it and have some fun. Right on. Right on. Let's and maybe go, go on I'm a random tangent here and there. <laughs> All righty. Let's get it. All right. So going ahead, scrolling up. The first one we have is from Mr. Carlos Crick with a hey. Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Or as he would say, Kakarot. Kakarot? <laughs> mm. Man, this thing tastes good. Um, oh, yeah. I know that's been fermenting. <laughs> but first, I just want to say that I love the colors. I love the solidness. Everything is solid about this picture. I love it. I do. You know what? I, I love Super Saiyan Blue. I really do. But I've always believed that it should be darker. And I really love the way that the hair looks in this. That dark blue... I know Vegeta got his royal blue later on, but I feel like that's right. a more natural color for what Super Saiyan Blue should have been. See, from Vegeta, I get like the bluish, purplish vibe. Like yeah. I don't know why, but I don't know. I'm I'm really digging this this color because it seems like everything he did with his proportions and everything like that, and the color, like I said before, is is solid. Everything is oh perfect, yeah almost. Everything's I, very I, crisp I, and clean. I love, I mean, these lines are clean. There is what? no no extra, you know, scratch outs or anything. It's it's perfect to me. Right. It's like he almost took a picture from one of these games or whatever and just put it right there on his paper and he and he and he did a good job at it. And I, I appreciate it. I agree, Carlos. Awesome job as always, man. Make sure to keep it up. Yes, keep pumping that workout. Don't ever stop, no matter what. Agreed. All right, so we got a little bit of a threefer from Mr. Andrew Houghton. Okay. So, Andrew, I'm not going to go super in-depth on each and every single piece, but I am going to make sure to look at all three of them. Uh, we got a story of these new paintings, the Bugs Bunny Mini Carl, Powerpuff Girl Blossom. So these are just canvas pieces, little work in progress he tossed out real quick. Um, oh yeah, but you know what? I like them. I really do. That blossom looks really good. Agreed. Uh, I I think that this is something I could easily see hanging up in my niece or nephew's rooms, and they would absolutely love it. Oh yeah, I put it up right here behind me. I like that blossom. That's my favorite one. I like the blossom out of all three. Blossom. That's my favorite see, one. I was always a buttercup kind of guy myself. You know, I like me too. I like a girl with an attitude. That's probably why I'm single and always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you like what you like, you know. Yep. But no, the, out of these three, the blossom is my favorite. Of I, course, Bug Bunny with the classic. I would know. have to agree. It would only I'd be hang them all only, on my wall. The only thing to make that Bugs Bunny better for me is if he was ripping off a sign that said Duck Season. <laughs> <Duck season. laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, really good. I love, I love them. Yes. Got an unfinished piece, but I think we're gonna be coming up to that in a little bit. Jamie's got an unfinished piece. Okay, so Daniel does have a piece that we just gotta look at his last picture. As much crap as I like to give Daniel, he is a awesome artist, and this Tyranitar is super cool. So, my thing with Daniel Rios is, 
Like, I envy his work so much because it looks like this man just said, okay, I'm about to sketch this out and throw a little doodle down. And it comes out so perfect. Right? Like, all the time. And it frust- He'd be like, it frustrates me. He'd be like, oh, I just did this real quick sketch right before I went to work. And, like, right. I'm sitting there like, okay, so a quick sketch is like, what, 10 minutes? Because this thing looks pristine like you've been working on it all day. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. We're having some uh, technical difficulties. One second, please. Okay, and we're back. We just had some slight technical difficulties where we lost some audio for a minute. We've got it fixed. Let's go ahead. Let's get back to this Tyranitar piece. So I started to hear you say that you loved it. We were talking about how Daniel whips this stuff out like it's just the fastest thing ever and it's no big deal to him. Right. It's like... Like you, like you were just saying, like he just does this stuff right at break time or anything yeah. before that, and it just comes out so perfect. Right. I'm but like, how? I'm like, for me to have done this Tyrantar piece, that would probably be a solid night of you know just you know drawing. For oh me. yeah. And oh yeah. He he whips out these drawings like they're nothing, and it 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 does make me a little envious. Facts, all facts. I hear you because it's like I see his work and I'm like, man, he did this shit like five. He did this stuff in like five minutes. So, right, <laughs> right. It, exactly. I mean, it take me take me six hours to do something like this, and he just it it from my it, it's like he does this stuff like clockwork, just like that. Yeah, so simple. I mean, and he's even got some details. Like, do you see the drool coming out of that Tyranitar's mouth? Like, yes. And yes, see, I it's, see it. it's that it's that little stuff like that that just adds to it and makes you go, really, really, you just did this as a quick little drawing. Come on, <laughs> right? There's, it's like no way. I mean, I'm sure he does it the way he does it, but there's no way he does it so perfectly in such little time. Right? There's no way this is just a quick sketch. So, Daniel, I'm calling you out. <laughs> Hey, and you know he 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 probably does do it in a quick sketch, oh, but I'm he's sure aware. He does. Oh, hold on. It's yeah, sketching during his during his lunch, during his lunch, Man. a lunch period thirty Man. minutes. Uh, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes is enough time for me to actually, you know, what? plan out what I'm about to draw, how I'm about to do it, and he just has a whole picture. Yeah, you know what I'm doing done. during lunch though. What eating. <laughs> Facts, yes. Like, where's where's the subway? Where's the Wendy's at? Like, <laughs> oh man, that sounds man. Really good. I haven't even had dinner yet today. I was so excited to do this video. Just get on here. Not here. You better get your grub on, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Let's, I'm just gonna have to hold off on my hunger here until we scroll up. So, one of my favorite artists right now, Carl Davies. This dude to his wrestling art. Oh my god. Dude's got me hyped every single time I see him post. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm 100% right behind you. His fiend is phenomenal. Now, granted, I haven't been a huge wrestling fan recently. I, I've kind of grown out of it a little bit, you know. I don't even have cable yeah. anymore, so I don't watch a whole lot, you know, of right. regular TV. Bella, you slapped me in the face with your tail again. <laughs> <laughs> um. But I have heard a lot about the fiend. I've seen him. I've played. I still play the games here and there. Okay. And this is great. Like yeah, the leather it looks even... like leather. He did a good job on the tattoos for the chest. The mask. It kind of gives me a oh, Kane yeah. meets the Joker kind of feel. Looking yeah, at it for sure. So. What I feel about this picture is it's it's Carl Davies or however you <laughs> pronounce oh, his out. last name. <laughs> however you pronounce his last name, I've been following him since he started putting this these wrestling pieces out, and I believe that they're so beautiful and they, they need are. to be shared with more people. Like more people need to see this, and not enough people are. Yeah, like like what? Why is he only have guys? Guys, there's fifty eight of you. There's 58 of you who have liked, have looked at this photo, and there are five. Yeah. There are five of you who've actually liked it or loved it. 
Right. Come like, on. quit playing. Like, this is this is a family group. Facts. Quit playing with me. Like, these are so beautiful. Every everything that he posts from his, you know, his Ray Mysterio and his Eddie Guerrero's and all that. Everything that he posts about his, his wrestling pieces are just phenomenal, in my opinion. And ever since he started posting them, I've been following them ever since, and I won't stop. Every single like, time. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was in Facebook jail, he would have probably a hundred comments for me on every single post. Man, he's just super talented with the digital shit or digital stuff. Sorry. Sorry for my language, but you know, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about his work too, because it's just beautiful. And I'm a sucker for wrestling art. I am too. I am too. So as much as I love it, we're going to have to move on. We, we don't want to waste, not waste, but take too much time on one person and not give everybody else a chance here. Right. So let's take a look at Michael Holsey. One of the admins, he doesn't post a whole lot, but let me say, okay, it's not technically finished, but I can't pass it up. This Ultra Instinct Goku. Like, we're not even going to look at his pants. We're just going to look at that chest, them beautiful pectorals, and that face. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's ready to take on Jiren, man. He's ready to put him down. Right? Like I think he did a good job. Michael, you do amazing work all the time, man. Yeah. You really do. Um, Purple. I know you've Purple. been in Facebook jail, too, so you haven't been able to post a whole lot. Uh, admins on this page have a really bad habit of ending up in Facebook jail constantly, so we have to like alternate who can do all the posts for us. <laughs> right. You guys need to put a filter on yourselves. A straight filter. Hey, I, you guys. I, I <laughs> don't say things badly most of the time. Now, Come on, man. You know, Come I do on. feel like this is an appropriate time to sit there and say. If you want to hear something, you want to hear some critiques, you want to hear some of that negative, maybe something that got me in that Facebook jail, I'm really thinking about doing a video where I go all Gordon Ramsay on your guys' art. I want to know who would be interested in that. Hey, like I said before, you can go ahead and roast mine. You can go ahead and come at mine crazy. I'm ready for it, you know? <laughs> I think I'll have to get specific volunteers for it. I really do. Yeah, because not everybody's going to be with that. <laughs> Probably not. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go up to uh, Eric Pabone. Eric's been coming out with some really interesting stuff lately. I have to say, like, you can never really guess what he's going to post. Right. Um. So, like, this one, it's a kid getting his face attacked by a Spider-Man comic book. And That's, I love it, honestly. I do. I, it's like... like I looked at it and I really didn't know what was going on at first. I was like, "Is the kid having his like brain sucked out? What's going on?" And then I like had to. I was like, "Wait a minute! There's a Spider-Man hand there. What's going on here?" So I was watching the last video you guys posted, and it was about his work with the little action figures in the Star Wars. Yeah. With the, yeah, I I think it's I think it's amazing personally, oh, and I, I think it's it's. No, no, no. By all means, 100% amazing artwork. I love I love how it has a combination. You got some realism going on with the child's face. Yes. And then you have this beautiful comic style mm-hmm. coming out of the comic book. And I I think that's great. Right. It represents that what we all felt as a child, you know, reading comics or how we feel now as reading comics. Yeah. Doc Doc Ox, you know, little arms or whatever are coming out at you, and you felt that as you were reading it, you know? Oh, and it, and it, I, it drew you in, like like Doc Ock here is pulling this kid in, and there's 100%. your turn. Hi. <laughs> and you're just constantly uh, attached, and you want to know what's going to happen in the next issue. You don't want to wait. It's kind of yeah, how I feel I mean, with Dragon Ball almost like every time a chapter drops, but man, Dragon Ball they do is tease us. Oh my know. have did you see the, 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 the um chapter seventy just dropped and the teasers yes. that they're leaving with us? I'm, 
I don't want to. I, I don't want to spoil anybody. I don't want to spoil anybody if you haven't caught up. But okay. But I mean, it's this. Con- they they're doing a great job of this build up right now. Um. Okay. I like it so far. I think it's different from what oh. they usually do. Oh yeah, definitely. And and the fact that they're actually giving you some background before they go into punching in the guy really, really hard. <laughs> yeah, let me scream for five chapters, you know, and then we fight for three seconds, you know. I, I dig it. I like what's going on right now. I do too. So, okay, so that gave me a little bit of time to scroll up here. Now, uh, the next person I have here is Jody Silverman, uh, Zulueta, if I'm saying that right. I don't know if I am or not. Okay. Um, I want to comment on this. I, I can't really say a whole lot about it because when it comes to jewelry, I'm a guy. I don't know a whole lot. Okay. But All I right. know this looks pretty. And yeah. it is art. And I want I want to make sure that we know that she is just as much appreciated as everybody else here. She oh, sells yeah. she sells these. She does pendants. She she's done uh I knew she did Christmas ornaments uh around the holidays. And she's done a few other things, okay. just I think some bracelets and stuff like that, if I remember correctly. Okay. But make sure, I mean, um, anybody watching, check her out. She does some really good artwork or jewelry art. Um, like oh, this yeah, is supposed for to, sure. This piece here is supposed to represent Frieza in his cocoon in hell, and you can no, you know, not knowing what it is, you wouldn't think that, but it still looks like a beautiful piece of art. Oh yeah, but side by side, like how it's presented right here. Yeah, I think it looks. Perfect. Right, and, you and know, it's a like, good oh, representation. Well, yeah, for a hundred percent. I love what she does. You know, I follow her on Instagram and everything, and she posts a lot of beautiful stuff like this. And and it's not your traditional art. It's not your markers and pens and your digital art. This is something completely different. This is way out of left field compared to everything else that we're reacting to. And it's, I think it looks pretty good. And I will say that. You know, if you're just anybody looking at this stuff, you might not know what it is. But once you put them side to side like that, I think they look perfect. I yeah. think it looks. I mean, how cool would it be to be walking around and be like, "Yo, I'm wearing Frieza." In his cocoon. <laughs> In his cocoon. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like it's perfect. I love it. I do too. So, Jody, awesome job. Keep showing off that jewelry. I want to make sure that we all know how much we appreciate you, even though 25 right of y'all have seen it. We only got two likes. Let's make sure that we're hitting that love button. Show the love to other people. You want to see them. Me, you like let you me get just, your stuff liked. Right. Let me just react to it as we're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Moving up. Moving up. Moving up. So next one is from my boy Adam. Okay. Uh, with his finished. Fist of the North Star. I am going to completely drop the ball and say I have never watched this. So I have no clue I mean, what it is. I'm right there behind you. I, I don't know what this is. But um, I will say that this dude here in the middle, the guy with the beard, I feel like his 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 expression is captured amazingly. Oh, yeah. I, I think so. Like... I like I like it. I like everything about it. Um, oh yeah. I mean, you got some good action going on. You got some blood, uh, which looks right. really good. I do actually really mm-hmm. like the way the blood look, blood staining and all that looks across the the dude's arm and body. You know, oh, and yeah. it looks. This is a really intense piece with really good shading. Like, look at the helmet. That, like. Oh yeah. Even though there's no gold marker, you would honestly believe that that is gold. Hell yeah. And that's a, that, that's a difficult thing to like capture sometimes is that gold and that silver, mm-hmm. you know, making yeah, it look like it's actually gold. Yeah, exactly. And I think he rocked it out. I think he did it. I did his, he did his thing on this one. I agree. Um, Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, like I said, unfortunately, my only thing is I I don't know anything about uh about the show. About the most I've ever seen of it was Team Four Star, uh, 
did a quick little sketch where the dude came in and to fight Cell during the Cell games. That's <laughs> okay. That, that's all I know. Well, right. Cell fought everybody apparently. Cell Hermit did fight everybody. Right. Except for <laughs> Yugi. He just dueled him. And then made yeah, Ash wanna, catch him cry. <laughs> he don't want to be banished to the Shadow Realm. That's all it is. Yeah. All right. So, I'm sorry. Who? Jim. Jim Williams. Now, Jim Williams does awesome work. I was, uh, I was talking to him about something he did earlier this last week. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it was really, really good, too. This piece. Now, he's posted this piece once before, but he said he went back. He added in some color. To really okay. make it pop. And let me tell you, it does. This oh, yeah. Daredevil. So, Look do you know... If, the amount of detail. You, yeah, that's crazy. It's It almost makes me not want to draw anymore. It makes me almost want, not want to art anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't quite go that far, but... I mean, it does um, make me sit there and go, dang, I got ways to go like... My backgrounds, I honestly believe my backgrounds are terrible. That's why usually I'm yeah. more of like a, I draw the character, and then like the background's usually like nothing really. You know, it's like that right. character that's front and center is the is is the main piece. This right. dude was like, nah, uh-uh. Not Man, fine. You can, everything. You, everything you is can, covered. Right. You can almost see little... Susie showering over here in this building over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, he really, he really, he really I killed me. Wait a minute, stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that I'm done crying from laughing at that one, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no, nah, he killed it. He did, did this thing. Like, I don't know if this is digital or like pencil or whatever the hell he, whatever he did, he rocked it out. And the, the details are crazy. Like, Mark and Maggie are eating their dinner somewhere in one of these buildings, and you can see it perfectly almost. And that's right. not even talking about the daredevil himself. No, I mean he. Everything about this is is beautiful. Oh, you know what? He did the Catwoman. That's what I'm thinking of. Yes, the Catwoman was beautiful with the green eyes. Yeah, yes. I was, I was so looking at I that too. He he po he posted this a few months, uh, maybe a month, two months back. Uh, I, okay. I can't remember off the top of my head. And it was all pencil. And then he's okay. going back, and he's digitally added the color. I believe. I believe. Okay. All right. But uh, he said, "You, if you really look at this, there's there's some really in depth details. Um, some." Uh, like little minute things that most people won't notice. Like if you look over here on this far left side, you've got um, Doctor Strange's sanctum. Uh, sanctum. Oh, wow. uh, what what's it called? Uh, oh, man, one of you got one of you comic book guys. You're gonna be like, oh my god, really? You didn't you <laughs> didn't guess you didn't that you didn't know the most famous name of Doctor Strange's house like. I'm sorry. Right, like, what are you, you sleeping on? It. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm not good with names <laughs> and stuff. I'm uh, sorry. Right. Okay. And we scroll up, and we have another one from Daniel Rios. And I'm only going to be quick on this one because it's just the quick sketch before work. <laughs> and it's and it's like perfect. Right. Like, what else oh, can you say I'm sorry. About it? Here, let me do a five second drawing of Goku from GT and just make it look phenomenal. Man, even as just a sketch, like, that shit is nice. That stuff is nice. Sorry, I can't help it, but that stuff I is nice. I had to use some bleeps out of here. Yeah, you're gonna have to put some dolphin noises or something. Like, I can't help myself. It's beautiful. Well, so far you haven't said the big bomb. So we're just gonna have I'm to... Trying. I'm trying. I'm so trying. We'll, we'll just have to keep moving on. <laughs> Yeah. So, Daniel, we already highlighted you too much. We're moving on. You only get so much love. And it doesn't come from me. It comes from Mel. And you're lucky you get that. Right. <laughs> um. What, what What? did you post? What did you post? Oh, Just a little bit, really. oh, is this a little video? 
the video. Just tiny one. Just tiny it one. Is fin All this right. little implement is finished, so you can you can react to that, you know. But, I mean, the whole picture has finished itself, so you'll see that either way. All right, all right, all right. We'll hold off on it until we get up there then. Okay. All right. So, yeah. what is this from Philip Heiser? Uh, um, I mean, I like it. I don't, do you, I don't recognize it. Is it something original? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if this is from something, but whatever it is, you got a knack for making some nice little characters. Right, I mean, I, I like the. It looks like a bomb on his head. I like that. Fill up. Right. If it's original, give me a story. I want to be involved. Right, because I'm digging the little characters. I, I, do, like I, them. I think these are awesome, like, little characters. Like, I could yeah. see something like that as, like, um, a, a YouTuber's, like, icon, honestly. Yeah. For sure, you can see that on. I can see that on a T-shirt. Like both I, of these characters. Uh, you're right. Both. I could definitely see that on a T-shirt. You know, and just just them by themselves, and they would be nice. I agree. I agree. I think that would be a, make a great. Philip, make a T-shirt. Do it. Right. Do it. Send me one. Send me one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh. Ooh, Carlos Crick. Did we highlight Carlos already earlier? We did. We did. But we're, we're still going to look at it because I like it. So, unfortunately, I have to look at it sideways because he didn't turn the page. Right, right. That's all right, <clears throat> though. So, getting it, though. So, hold on. Hold on. We're going to. We're going to. Okay. So, we have GT, <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and we have the non super. I'm sorry, the non super Android 17. That's Super 17, who did less than Dragon Ball Super Android 17. Dragon Ball Super 17 was clutch. He did come in very He was. Clutch. He was. Now, you know what? The one thing I will say is I actually did like Android, Super Android 17 because he pulled his hair back. I just wish he'd like, like, okay, you pulled all your hair back, but that one bang, seriously, like, get it in gear. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But uh, so, no, this this does look beautiful. I I like it. I really do. Um, I like sure. how you have it like half and half with the way his hair is. I honestly, I still feel like that is still better than just having his one like messy bang in the front. It drove me crazy. It really did. Right. But you, you know what? <sighs> Android Super Android Seventeen aside, that's Super Saiyan Four Goku. Like, yeah, that's fire. It is. It's absolutely I'm it. bomb. I'm digging it. <clears throat> so, looking at this, I can't tell if it's finished. I don't know if it is finished. Because oh. I think 17 I think seventeen needs a little bit more, you know, depth to him. Because Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he's got, the, he's got the shading and stuff to him. But 17, I feel like he's lacking a little shading here. Uh, you know what? You might be right. We might be jumping the gun, giving him some, talking about him at the moment. Cause well, I mean, Goku, with, with you're the, right. Goku looks very detailed, and like Seventeen's head looks good. But now that I look at like his chest and bandana, yeah. you can tell that there should be some shading there, and maybe he's just not gotten to it yet. Even even it's just his skin tone. Like if it's finished, if it's you know, it looks good either way. But if in my opinion, I think you you add that that extra, the shading to seventeen and his skin and you know just everything else that you got. I think it looks great. I think it looks immaculate. I agree. I agree. Well, tell you what, just in case that he hasn't fully completed, let's go ahead and move on so we can hit it back probably next week or something. Right on. So that would bring us up to Marlon Sanchez with a total of. 18 hours over three days this baby Vegeta which dude I gotta say I love the colors that you used um, oh yeah being different and going with that negative energy aura of making things red gives it a much darker meaner look and I love it right 100% so and before I and it's not him in his like great ape form, which 
I thought was terrible. I really did. Man. I like I thought GT and the whole was terrible. There was like a couple of few as- bright spots. I'll be yeah. that guy. I'll be that guy. I was like, there were aspects there, but in general, yeah, GT was not great. Maybe I thought I do it was one of the better things of GT. I will say that. Facts. Yeah, that and Super Saiyan 4 and Omega Shenron. I, I, I liked Omega Shenron. I but, liked Omega but, Shenron, but I felt like he really needed a like a completely new form once he absorbed all the Dragon Balls. Yeah, I agree. Because it could have been, be- been better. It could have been better. It could have been. been better. Because, you know, Dra- but, a Kira Toriyama's whole thing when, uh, from an artistic standpoint was that he liked to keep things simple when you became more powerful. And right. Omega, and of course GT wasn't drawn by, you know, Akira. But, right. <clears throat> but Omega Shinron was so overly filled with so much other stuff that, I don't know, he's just so complicated that it, it was hard to look at him constantly, honestly. Like, yeah, right. he was cool, but I felt like he was so big and spiky that why was he really that threatening? He should have barely been able to move. Right. So. I will say this, though, before we do, before I say anything about this art, specifically Marlon Sanchez, I've been following him for a while, and he's one of my favorite artists out of all these groups or whatever, just because of the simple fact that he's grown so much. Oh, yeah. Like, I love watching artist. these guys. <laughs> Like you see, in my, in my opinion, he's become one of the most consistent, like, better artists than from where everything started. And I think he's done a really good job at perfecting his craft. And I appreciate watching his growth. And I think he's killing it. See that? Personally, 31 people, 31 people seen. Seven people liked it. Get on it. Right, man. <laughs> right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, scrolling up. Okay, I got to do I gotta, one little thing, one little thing. Rain Donkers. Dude, this video, I loved it. I really did. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, play it because I don't want to ruin your YouTube channel. I will put a link for you down below. But uh, sub for sub, bro. Sub for sub. Sub for sub. I sub for hey, you. Sub for sub. Yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> Doesn't mess with you, buddy. Um, this is a great video. Uh, I really enjoyed watching it. Uh, I've seen you do some other cool stuff. Keep it up, man. Oh yeah, he's he's grinding. He's he's like I said, he's perfecting his craft. He's getting it. Paul Evans with a self portrait. Um, Paul, I don't want to dive into your page and look at your picture, but uh, man, if that if that's why I have to reference what you look like, buddy. Uh, okay, okay, maybe I guess you know. <laughs> I will say that portraits are pretty. They are hard. Pretty, you they're, know, they're difficult. They are. I can't they're really hard. Look, every time I every time I try to draw a self portrait of myself, I could turn out way better looking. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I hear you. So you know, he's he's killing it. Yeah. No, keep you're doing a really working. you're doing a great job. Uh, I like your hair. Your hair looks really good. I like how that you're not just keeping it all shaped and formed. You like you actually got your hairs going off all over the place like normal people do. I mean, look at my do right now, man. I'm all over the place. Yes, because you know when I'm drawing, I'm drawing simple hair like that. I just put a bunch of lines in place and hope it looks right. Right. But that actually looks like some nice, you know, hair. Yeah. That actually. No, I mean, you're doing you're doing really good. I I like it. Um. I think you should keep going with it, man. Keep keep diving into it. Do do more detail. Put something in the back. Um, For sure. Whenever you have, sure. when you're doing a self portrait like that, and you leave, and you leave things um, blank behind it, that's where you start to, you know, lose a little bit of that feel. I guess um, it, it makes the picture feel more full. Is what I'm trying to say. All right, I hear you. All right, keep going, Justin. Hurry up and finish this. I want to see it done. I can't comment. Right. Oh, oh, oh! It's the one I've been waiting for. Oh, it's the one I've been waiting for. I've been waiting so long for this. It feels like forever. 
before you even say what it is, before you even announce it, I already know what you're talking about. I uh, already know. Uh, I already know. American Bad A. I'm not going to say the word. I know. Hey, he's so good. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. This is by far my favorite piece by him, oh. just because I love the American Bad A, Undertaker. Big Evil. Yes, yes, oh, I love it. man. Loved it. Look, for those of you who don't know, not only am I an artist, not only am I a huge Dragon Ball geek, I'm a biker. I've been riding motorcycles right. my entire life. That's your thing. That's your niche, right? Exactly, man. So when I was a kid and I'm watching WWE back in the Attitude Era, I'm watching Stone Cold, I'm watching The Rock, when The Undertaker yes. shows up on a freaking custom chopper, comes yes. down in a biker gear, I was like, yo! I was Not hyped. even... Not even just that, but you know, just his music, like. Oh yeah, and Kid, that, Kid and Rock, that, Kid Rock, Limp Biscuit, like. He, thanks, thanks. Killed it, and every bit, and and Biker Taker was the closest thing to the Undertaker to himself. Oh yeah, and, and uh, Mark that. Mark Calloway was. Yes. Uh, he was very open about it. He's like, look, I wanted to be. I wanted to do this persona because I wanted it to be me out there. I didn't want to just yeah. be the dead man. He goes, he yeah. goes everywhere I go, everywhere I ever went, I had to be the dead man. Right. He goes, so whenever and, I got uh, to be biker taker, he goes, I got to be myself. I got to go out yeah. in public and be myself. Yes. And he did a great job of it. And he Carl, did. you did an amazing job of this. Oh, like, like, yeah, I, I did. I absolutely love Biker Taker. Both both when he was the American Bad A, where he was a baby face, and when he turned heel and he became Big Evil. Both personas were still awesome. Um, very, very. I would even venture enough to say that when Undertaker got buried alive by Kane and came back as the dead man, so He's, Kane is my favorite wrestler. So watch what you say here. No, I, I don't have anything against Kane. I love Kane. Um, even though he okay. did kill Biker Taker, which I I resent him a little bit for. Right. But when he came back as the Undertaker again, he came back as the Dead Man again. He still had some of that biker persona, which I thought needed to oh, yeah. stay. And I think that oh, saved yeah. the Undertaker. Um, oh yeah. From being just this big slow guy all the time, and he get he get to kept that fast striking persona, which is what Biker Taker was all about. In that fact. is the last ride was my ultimate fin was like my favorite finisher. Thanks. Like I'm a sucker for choke slam, so anybody who's got the choke slam, that's I, my guy. <laughs> I, I like choke slam, but uh, okay, I'm gonna grab you by the throat and slam you to the floor. Versus, I'm gonna pick you up as a. Seven, like seven foot tall monster, raise you over my head and drop you. That's gotta hurt your back, man. Exactly. You, got, <laughs> you like, better be doing squats, buddy. Oh yeah, no, you definitely have to have the strength for it. That's for sure. So, right. Okay, I could do like a half hour conversation about the Undertaker and Biker Taker, uh, dude, Carl. I might need to talk to you about getting a print of this one. Just saying. Right. Um, right. So hit me Killing up, man. Me. All right. All right. Mm. Moving up. I think it's you. You. You're. You're the last and final one here. I'm pretty positive. Oh boy. Here we go. What do you have for me? What is this monstrosity? So, I had um, this guy hit me up for a couple of mashups because I did the Goku, Luffy, and the Naruto, you know, mashup. I remember that one. And he wanted me to add like four or five different people to the same one. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I can try to do it. But so he had me do two different ones. And of course, you guys already reacted to the first one that I did. But this one right here was crazy. So we got in this picture, we got Scorpion. I see that. Um, the Crow. Oh, got, okay. Okay. All right. 
See, I saw the crow there, but I was like, is that actually the crow? Yes. Oh, but you know what? I, I didn't actually notice the face. Hold on. Let me zoom into the face so that... I saw the crow on the belt. I didn't notice the actual face paint crow. Well, even even from the, the tape that's around his waist and everything and on his hand, too, it's all from the crow. Oh, but you got like, your logo kind of covering up the tape, so I, I yeah. missed that. I didn't know where else to put that, but I had to put it on Dude, there. it's a full but, yeah. page, man. That, that's what happens. Facts. But he wanted... This one wanted the Joker, the Crow, Scorpion, Carnage, and... Carnage. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, the very slight... Yeah. On the arm there, a little, little bit of a Carnage. Yeah. He wanted Goku at first, but I'm like, I don't think Goku would blend... And no, any Goku type of would have way. gone into that. No, and just because you got basically all villains, right. except for the crow, but like I don't, I don't think. But Goku he's a would dark character, that. which most of these guys are, you know. So right, and the other mashup that I did, it they all blended perfectly. They all wore blue. They all wore like the same type of get up, you know. Everything blended perfectly, but this one was a little challenging. I can see that. But, like, it looks. Oops. It looks really, really good. Um, now, I'm trying to figure out... you got uh, a set of glasses on him. Where did the glasses okay. come from? So, the people that I did it for, there was, like I said, two pieces. I was basing it off of them as a person. Oh, okay, okay. So... Yeah, and the last one you could see it's got Vegeta, so I put the Saiyan hair in and everything. And this one, it was the Crow and the Joker, so naturally the dude has long hair. So I, I figured I'd mix him up with the Crow and the Joker and make one half green or whatever. But he's got glasses, so I, I put you. that in there. So that, was, yeah. so that was just kind of a call for him then? Yeah, okay. pretty much. And then you've got a Gar, right? Gar? Yeah, Gur, Gar, Gur. whatever. Gur. Yeah. I'm sure somebody's gonna be so, somebody's gonna be out there with their uh, Invader Zim backpack and all that. And they're gonna be like, "You said it wrong." You guys don't know what you're talking about. You're not real nerds. You know yep. stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's yep. exactly what's gonna end up happening. So. I just I just do what they want me to do. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so. Tell you what, man, I think this is a great place to finish. Let's, um, guys, I can't stress this enough. If you're making it to the end of this video, make sure you are liking and subscribing to me. Go, sure. go make sure you, you add, um, go make sure you add him on his Facebook and his social media platforms for self-induced. He's got Max. some great art. This is just a this is just a small portion of the things I've seen him do. He does all kinds of really cool stuff. But on these Thank artists, you. on these artists, you need to make sure that you are going to their stuff. If you are on Global Geek Art, if you are an artist and you're not on this page, you are missing out, first of all. But if you are on this Appreciate page, there is no reason that we should ever have so many of you that are looking at this stuff and not liking it. Because as so, an artist, as an artist, you want to be appreciated for what you do. You post things expecting for somebody to comment, for somebody to like it, for somebody to show a reaction that they appreciate the things that you do. So make sure you're giving that back to other people as well. All right, guys? And, and on that note, before you finish it off, I just want to say support, you know, comes with support. You want to support. You want somebody to support you? Support them. Yep. You know, it goes hand in hand. 100%. If I'm, support, if I'm supporting you and you're not supporting me, then what am I doing? Yep. And it's this all is about support. Making sure that we're yeah. building each other up and making everybody better. Thanks. 100%. All right. So, once again, guys, as always, I love doing these videos. I love looking at your artwork. Please make sure, like and subscribe down below. Five days and I'll be off the Facebook ban and I'll be able to post more again. Until then, hey. see you next time, guys. See ya. Later. Deuces. Pieces. Traces. <laughs>